Youth mental health was a prominent topic of conversation at a gathering of health researchers today. The 18th annual showcase of health research presented by St. Joseph's Care Group was held at the Victoria Inn. Mike Lang was there. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the COVID-19 pandemic has negatively affected people's mental health. But a study of primary care practices in our region found that teens have been particularly vulnerable. Brianne Wood is with the Thunder Bay Regional Research Institute and Nazem University. We found that children and youth uh, mental health presentations in primary care increased after March of 2020 uh, and that this increase was seen in both boys and girls and across the different age groups. Uh, this is consistent with findings elsewhere as well. She says youth need better access to treatment and the personalized care that they need. They're not able to access the health care in a timely way. Uh, they might not be able to access the health care that they need. Um, and so I think having a diversity of options is really important and uh, needs more attention. Youth and mental health were the main focuses of today's 2023 Health Research Showcase, hosted by St. Joseph's Care Group and the Center for Applied Health Research. St. Joseph Director Michel Bedal says the showcase is about bridging the gap between researchers and practitioners in order to optimize the care that is provided. Providing a venue for people to, to uh, disseminate their research and research that's very relevant to, the, to Northwestern Ontario, I think it's an important uh, opportunity. But also it puts together the researchers, uh, administrators, uh, you know, clinical frontline people. So I think, again, it's also an opportunity to network and to discuss and, and hopefully to, to create some connection between you know, the clinical world and the research, research world as well. These research meetings are great for actually continuing that cycle. It's about having multiple perspectives to bring some insight to the research findings and then different people thinking about ways that you can apply that in practice. So, I mean, a great group of people here today offering their insights and good suggestions to move forward. Wood says the need for stronger mental health supports in northwestern Ontario continues to increase even with the height of the pandemic behind us. Next, she intends to study how that compares to other parts of the province. Mike Lang, TBT News.